Good morning to everyone and welcome to another update on the market. For today, I decided to cover Euro versus US dollar. I will speak about the gold market, crude oil and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will start with the Euro versus US dollar first. Uh, what we had yesterday um, on the Euro versus US dollar is that market broke this uh, bull flag. We spoke about this in market uh, we can see that uh, the price reached the, the main objective at 1.1045. But what happened there, and after CPI announcement in US, we got a big rejection of this very important resistance cluster. And that rejection actually quite a big supply kicked in and we broke the rising trend line. And we can see after the breakout market left this, uh, we call the single prints. So this area here between uh, 1.0995 and 1.1007 is a very strong resistance zone for this uh, for today and for this intraday. Uh, we can see here that market is reacting uh, uh, here this hour. We will have the tail, uh, selling tail. So there is a chance for the one uh, another downside swing. Now, for the confirmation uh, of this downside potential continuation structure, I would like to see the breakout of this mini rising trend line. So, something like breakout in this area here and that potential for the lower prices. Um, downside objectives based on this downside scenario. Um, downside objectives are set at 1.0965 and this uh, low area, swing low area at 1.0935. If we place, for example, um, an actually expansion tool uh, and see where is the projection of the 100% based on this swing high, it's all the way down uh, at 1.0914 and 61.8 if you want to expansion at 1.0948. Uh, for the upside scenario, I would like to see if the market can actually break and hold above this uh, single print area. That will be a good sign for some higher prices and back up towards the 1.1045. For, for now, it uh, seems like the downside scenario is more likely to happen, but um, uh, the upside scenario can also be in the play if we break this uh, single print structure. Uh, speaking of the gold market, we can see that we have. Uh, Market found buyers just underneath this uh, support zone at 1913. The buyers kicked in, left some buying tail, and now buyers are in control on the gold market. And for this, uh, we also had a bull divergence in the MACD, like momentum oscillator. And we can see that buyers are in control, and uh, if they keep, you know, with a strong momentum, there is a chance for retest of 1921. Now, for the downside scenario, uh, I would like to see the breakout of this mini rising trend line, break of the recent swing low, and that can be a good sign for the for lower prices. Uh, and we have the level, the important pivot level, around um, 1,900, 4, 9, and 9,000 mark. Speaking of the crude oil, uh, we can see that the crude oil uh, had a, a big sell off yesterday. And that market is breaking to the downside. We see this key support area sitting at 82.67, and that market is breaking this area. So there is a lots of single prints in this area here that market can revisit. Let me just uh, point some area. This area here is also area of the single prints. We have multiply areas that might be on the test today if there is a further. Uh, downside momentum and we can see for now sellers are in control so 82.35 uh, 82 mark and even the area around 81 mark so sellers definitely control you can see also that this area market revisited here reacted here here and here so it's a quite a important pivot level where the buyers uh, where the buyers didn't have any more power of 8310 this morning. And speaking of the Bitcoin versus US dollar, it's a pretty flat situation, uh, at least in the hourly time frame. 
we see that uh, we have support uh, at 29,330. Uh, so I would like to see if the market uh, can break this support area and then hold below. Then that can be a sign for some downside movement towards the, let's say, 28,750. Um, if scenario for upside, you know, for the upside rotation, if this support can hold for the market to rotate uh, higher towards the, this cluster here at 29,650. That will be all for this update, guys. I hope that you enjoy. Have a great weekend and speak to you from next week, from Monday.